Hi, my name is Rochelle. I'm currently a senior at La Paz and this is my IB story. The IB program at La Paz has been an incredible learning experience because it has pushed me outside of my comfort zone. Having to reach out to individuals in the community for collaboration in different projects has helped me improve my communication and team working skills. IB has helped me become an open-minded person um, and to think globally, which I think is essential for becoming a mindful citizen because you start to consider the ethical implications and the impacts of your actions. I think a big example of that is my cast project because through helping the mangrove I was able to give back to the planet but I also inspired other people to um, help their local communities and create this like ripple effect and the project itself took a lot of research and planning and coordination with other members of the community and organizations to carry out these events and give back to the planet. So I was able to develop these skills that I know I will use in my life. A highlight of my IB experience is definitely my business IA because I had the opportunity to work with Artisan Beauty, a medical spa in Atlanta founded by Diane Alexander. And I'm grateful for this opportunity because I was able to travel there with Miss Amy and I was able to interview the managers, meet the staff, and learn and apply business content to this real life business and give them a recommendation on like solving a problem. And throughout IB, I discovered this passion that I had for business management and it helped me realize that this is what I want to pursue a career in. I think another accomplishment for me in IB is that I developed my painting style in art, um, which I explored through different mediums and it became part of like who I am and what my art is known for. So it's something else that I'm going to be carrying on with me throughout my life. I think the biggest takeaway from my IB experience has been a balanced lifestyle. I've always been super hard on myself um, to strive for excellence and sometimes I would push aside like my personal well-being, but during IB I improved my time management and I realized the importance of balancing academic, social life, and exercise. Surfing is my passion and on weeks with double high tide in the morning and afternoon I would wake up before the sun was out to surf, make it back in time for the bus, and after school I would surf again until the sun would set. Um, on weeks where high tide was around midday and I couldn't surf because I was at school, I would work out in the afternoons and on weekends I would usually surf at least two to three hours per day and up to five hours of when it was going off. So the ocean basically became everything to me, my love, my passion, my best friend and it was, it just became part of who I am and it was necessary for my mental health. So with the pressure and stress from IB, the ocean and surfing helped me get through everything because it was my place to disconnect for a second when things got a little crazy so I could get back to it stronger and with a calm and clear mindset. There were definitely challenges through IB. There were days where I just, I was so exhausted from trying to fit everything in and finishing all my work and things weren't going the way I wanted it to or, you know, my mangrove nursery was dying or something like that. But at the end, I was able to overcome all of these challenges. And I think that's what I'm most proud of, just overcoming all of those obstacles along the way and accepting that it's okay to be stressed sometimes, but I learned that you just have to work hard and enjoy the process. I am so grateful for all of the ups and downs throughout IB because I feel like everything taught me a lesson along the way and I received support from my family and friends and classmates and teachers and I'm so grateful because they were always there for me when I needed an extra push and there's so many great memories with my class and so many fun field trips and jokes and I'm gonna miss all of it and I'm gonna miss the community of La Paz 
I've been at the school for 12 years and it doesn't feel like I'm done with high school. I feel like I'm gonna just go back next year because that's been the routine for the past 12 years of my life. So even if we don't get to celebrate together and have a graduation, I know at La Paz it will never be a goodbye. Just to see you later.